There's a piece of me that thought that he would possibly swallow me if he wanted to. They truthfully, they swim right up to you. And as they get an inch away from your face, they talk in barrel roll. So we get there. They take us out into the middle of the ocean. And the stars are shining like the dope. most amount of stars that you could possibly imagine in the sky you could see and um they take us out to the middle of the ocean and they give you kind of like a half what are they called wetsuits like yeah. a half wetsuit a snorkel and they're they throw these what i look almost like surfboards with led lights and handlebars around the sides and they tell you to just jump into the water and go out you put your mask in the water and the led lights attract the plankton and the manta rays come to eat the plankton so you're standing there and the manta rays come up and they just do these like barrel roll flips in front of you this close to your face this close all right f first question did you expect to be as freezing cold as you were during that experience no because i asked him and he said have you been in the water today? And we had gone snorkeling yeah. earlier that day and the water was really comfortable. And he was like, if you went in earlier, it, that's the, the exact temperature that it's going to be. So I jumped in yeah, and it was frigid. Freezing. I thought like they gave us the wetsuit and I'm just like, oh, even if it's cold, that'll keep me warm. But then also I jumped in and I genuinely was hyperventilating in the, for the first 30 seconds at least. By the way, because you have a snorkel mask, uh, I think breathing through a tube freezing cold at night is just more difficult than i don't know just going into the water at night so i was like kind of hyperventilating the in snorkel the, in mask didn't yeah. bother me uh, but i was genuinely shivering and then the way the placement that i was in they had me if you picture a surfboard like the there's long ends and then there's like narrow sides right so i'm on the end but they had a lot of people so they had me move next to the tour guide and Danny so Danny and I were kind of perpendicular so I was freezing cold and I was like snuggling onto the tour guide <laughs> like not intentionally but I was so cold that I needed body heat I don't appreciate and that and you weren't next to me and <laughs> so I'm like kind of rubbing arms <laughs> by the way the, the tour guide is like a like a beautiful sun kiss like what 19 year old uh Hawaiian. he wasn't 19 he was, he was like in he was his like 20s young, all right he was like a young beautiful Hawaiian very man. <laughs> local Hawaiian like one with the sea turtles Ra Rachel Rachel further like spoke to him on the boat for the next like 30 minutes but we ended up getting back and just asked him about his entire life almost left me for him <laughs> on the boat he, <laughs> easily he, what did he, yeah because what did he say he, he was, lives with the turtles he does love it but he what did he 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 goes diving he spearfishes he spearfishes and free <laughs> dives that's so cool haven't yeah. you have you seen those documentaries where they dive in no and i thought you were gonna you're... ask me do you spearfish do, do you spearfish <laughs> <I don't. laughs> You barely go in the water at 8.30 at night. All right, wait. Keep going on the manta rays real quick. So, like, you, you, we kind of glossed over, the like, the barrel rolls and the... We're going to put a video of it, so it's going to be awesome. But, like, the bear hugs that they gave you yeah. was just next level. Just, like, I don't know. Give me some detail of what that felt like. Well, I you have to give us okay. the detail because they are the... They hugged you. They didn't hug me. Yeah. I mean, like, first of all, so in the beginning, and I think we both thought this, in the beginning, they're super far away. So I think we saw one at a distance, and it was cool. But then we also, like, didn't see another one for what, like, five yeah, minutes or so? Yeah, so the beginning like, was a little disappointing because there was that one, and it's kind of in the distance, and we went at night... The waves were rough, so the water wasn't as clear. So you can see it, but it it wasn't really super up close to you. But it was still magical. Like that yeah. first one we saw, yeah. I locked eyes with that manta ray, and I <laughs> transcended space and time. Like I literally felt like I was tripping <laughs> because I was like, this manta ray is, it's just me and him. You That's, all fuck that manta ray? <laughs> I mean, if I was Rachel the manta ray... <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so we didn't see one for like five minutes, and then I think we both thought that it was going to be slightly disappointing if this was going to be the entirety yeah. of the experience. Did and you then, have a thought of going back to the boat at all? Not really. Like in the beginning, I was like, I'm obviously going to tough it out because it's like we like we did the hardest part. Like we're yeah. here and we like pushed through the beginning. People did go back though. Pretty early, I know. Yeah, I mean, and I cold. thought about it, but I was like, the second I step on that boat, the manta rays are going to come. Okay, but yeah, but here's the deal, right? So then we waited it out, and then all of a sudden, 
there were a couple mana rays that came up to you, but then the, there was at least one where it would do this thing where it would start at the bottom and then open its mouth <laughs> and come just hurling to you. They don't and open just, their mouths. Okay, their mouths I, 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 I know, but <laughs> it looks like it looks like he's like, yeah. like he's about to just eat you. <laughs> like it, there's there's a piece of me that thought that he would possibly swallow me if he wanted to. He it was could've. like slightly frightening when when they're because they're coming at you and they they have their mouths open naturally. Uh, and then so they they truthfully they swim right up to you and as they get an inch away from your face they talk in barrel roll which yeah. is the coolest thing because I okay and then the last thing is that Rachel the entirety through the experience is laughing like a child and it's so audible in the video. <laughs> Is the laugh is like <laughs> it's just so it was loud. amazing and and she it was, was making crazy me laugh. that not everybody yeah. was doing that in my mind. I couldn't breathe while uh, listening to you <laughs> laugh because you were cracking me up, and I heard other people just losing it <laughs> while you were laughing the whole time. And I think the tour guide, the tour guide, the tour guide just absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. Well, it was it was a magical night. That was and dope. then they called us back in the boat, and I kind of. I kind of lingered for a bit. I was like, I'm not really ready to go back in because towards the end, that's when there was like three or four man arrays just right next to us. And so I lingered a bit. And then finally, they're like, all right, guys, like we need you on the boat. And I was like, I could m live here. Yeah. Like not totally. even Hawaii in the ocean. I want to live in the ocean with them. <laughs> Dope. I think that's uh, that's probably everything on the man arrays. That was such a good experience. It was amazing.